The first round of the Masters begins tomorrow morning. After postponing it in April, Augusta National Golf Club has figured out a way to make the tournament happen this year, but without patrons. Bria Martin tells us how this year's tournament is still a source of optimism. The Masters at Augusta National, typically lined with blooming azaleas, a token of springtime in Georgia. Instead, signs of dormancy, like much of the world, due to COVID-19. But among the autumn hues, the evergreens, reminding that there is always life, even in the darkest of times. There's never been more effort put into putting on the tournament than this week. There is certainly life at Augusta National as the 84th Masters plays this weekend. Chairman Fred Ridley said that the decision to postpone the Masters was done independently, but it came as the sports world collectively shut down. Now, a return to play, and with it comes optimism. Our protocols, I think most would agree, are appropriate in the circumstances, testing everyone on grounds. Sacrifices were made, but as fans return to sporting events in moderation, Ridley is hopeful that when the tournament is played again in five months, patrons may walk, not run, back through the gate. I mean, it seems like it's been a lifetime. I think all of us would agree. As it relates to testing, there's some real opportunity. It would certainly be a wonderful circumstance if we could test large numbers of people. Despite the uncertainty of April, a constant certainty, the blooming of azaleas, magnolias, and life on the greens of Augusta National. Thank you, Marie.